when things are going well, it is relatively easy to preserve harmony, whether it is across ethnic groups, religious groups, or any other divide in society. Good times are easy to manage. The challenge is when you have hard times, or when you have a particular crisis, or a particular incident that tests your ability to do that. So the measure of whether we have arrived is not how we conduct ourselves in everyday life when things are going okay. You know, It is when we have a real crisis. So in Singapore, what have we had that could potentially be things like this? So, you know, and recently there was this uh, uh, internet video, you know, the innocence of Muslims. And it evoked a significant reaction in Singapore from the Muslim community because they were very unhappy at the way it was portrayed. And for the greater good of our societal harmony, right, we had to impose, we had to go in and say, look, we want this thing blocked. Right? And it doesn't mean that you can't see it. You can still, if you go through various channels, you can. But we did this as a sig signal to people that we value social harmony and the integration of our very diverse society. And that was our position on it. Right? And that is at the expense of what some would call free speech and expression. So I think in any society, these are very visceral instincts, you know. It's very deep-seated. There's, I don't think there's any society in the world that can say that they have completely overcome this issue of the difference between religious or ethnic uh, groups. It will continue to be there forever because these are very deep-seated instincts. Unless we are all so homogenized, and I don't see how that's going to happen in a hurry, but unless we are so homogenized as a race, as a human race, you know that we cannot differentiate. But this has been the way we have been for you know, millennia and it's going to continue to be the case. So let's not, you know, I, I will put it this way, we want to work at integration, at efforts to make sure that Singaporeans look beyond religion, look beyond race, look beyond all those divisions and focus on our identity as a nation and Singaporeans. This is our ideal and we will continue to strive for it. But we must make sure that we don't, in the pursuit of this ideal, that we don't ignore the realities of life. And we've got to make sure that we have in place certain measures that will make us deal with these things on a day-to-day -day basis. So why do we have ethnic quotas? Very simple. If on a day-to-day -day basis, when you step out of your house, you have to deal with, or when you go in the lift, or you go to the car park, or you go to take the bus, you have to deal with a Singaporean of a different ethnic group or a religious group. Over time, if not immediately, you will develop greater bonds and friendship. And when the test is really, if we have some crisis or whatever, how much we pitch in for each other and help each other out. So we see more and more of it, which is a great thing. I don't want to go back and talk about history and racial riots and all that, but the basic point is this. You know, we, if we can make this a day-to-day -day occurrence in our lives, in our classrooms, in our schools, in our homes, our neighborhoods, and so on, then there's a better chance that we'll overcome things like this, especially when there's a real crisis. That's the basic point behind this.